Hey, my baby pandas. So, I just did a haul video on these manga that I purchased. And, of course, here's the Lord of the Rings set. Now, the question is, how do we fit these onto either here or these two? So, we're going to figure it out together. Hope you enjoy this journey. And I'm happy that I get to videotape this randomness all for you. Bye, pandas. All right, and as also mentioned in that last haul video, as you can see, I do have um, my makeup, some of my makeup collection here in the shelf, which I think has to go. Just because of everything that's happening on my bookshelves, these need to go, and I'm thinking of putting them either on my desk here, on the side, yes, it's garbage. Oh my god, so embarrassing to show you that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm pretty much thinking that I'm going to put my makeup collection on top of my computer desk and have this open up for more um, manga. Here's the art books and my doujin section. I think I'm going to move this down to where the makeup um, section is and then open this up for manga. So we'll see what I decide to do. Um, it is totally figure galore. It's disgusting. This is all figure galore. Um, I use basically the bottom part and the top part of all, all of, of all of my shelves for figures um, because that's the only space I have at the moment. When I do, of course, eventually move out, it will be in beautiful glass um, glass casing to showcase the beauty of it. But for now, they have to sleep in their boxes, which I'm fine with because it keeps the dust out. So let's continue on with this organization. We could do it. We could do it. Quick note for those of you wondering where I keep my novels, uh, that's not manga at all, they are kept inside this white uh, shelf here. And of course it's hidden by doors. I might replace it, we'll see. But for now, I keep my novels in there. Tower of Makeup! Alright guys, it has begun. And of course, like always, every time I move my manga, or anything around I always dust it because that's the only chance I'm gonna have for a long time so I did remove my makeup that used to be here and I'm gonna be transferring it over on my desk so they're just waiting for me on the side here so let's continue on with this little reorganization all right so as you can see my art books and doujin used to be in this uh, section here and I'm just putting them down here of course it's not gonna look like this I need to adjust the height so what I usually do of course is I pretty much put the biggest book against uh, the shelf and see how much I need to move this uh, plank of wood here so I think it looks like I definitely need to move it up a couple of notches to give space for my art books so this bottom row will now have a gap like how this used to be so let's continue all right guys the art book and doujin are in and just a little bit of a fail from my end actually this plank of wood I can't move um, this is actually the main center um, wood that pretty much I guess connects the shelf together because as you can see it's a tall shelf so how I did that is I moved the um, plank of wood that was below it so um, the figures in the bottom still have space so they're okay just had to move that down to accommodate the height of the art books and doujin so it is in and moving on to the next of the shelves here we go all right, my baby pandas, I organized it. So let us begin with this tour of all the new stuff. So this will be considered an updated manga bookshelf collection. So starting off with my makeup collection that used to be on one of the shelves, it is now currently residing on top of my desk, which is perfect. Uh, this is my backup uh, makeup storage. So everything that I need is here and it's nice and compact, which is awesome. Now, moving on to my first manga bookshelf. So, top and bottom is the same. Nothing changed on that. Um, as for the manga bookshelf itself, I do now have an extra row since the makeup used to be down here. So, let's start off with the top. 
So these uh, manga are currently ongoing except for High School of the Dead that's completed. I am continuing collecting Triage X, Demon Love Spell, and of course Eno X Boku. So it's perfect because I have extra room here on the side. Let me just move these. It's perfect because I have extra room for the growing collection. So that's why I decided to keep these manga in this shelf on its own. Next is my omnibus manga, pretty much the gigantic thick ones. And these I decide to keep together because they're all a part of the uh, Dance in the Vampire Bund series. And here is, of course, more omnibus, Yuri omnibus. And down here is all of the adult books, which is there, and Yuri and Yahweh. And I kept my Black Lagoon manga here as well, just because the size matched up. So that is also there. And of course, I have some figures in front of some of my manga, because I do have a lot of figures at the moment. And lastly, now I moved uh, where my makeup used to be is now uh, where my art books and my doujin is. So here are my art books. I organize it by hardcover to soft. And of course it goes by sizes. This book right here is all of my Lucky Star cards. I did make a video for that. So if you just look at my video uploads, you'll see that collection. It's the Schwartz, I think. Schwartz, hold on. It's these. So that's inside the binder. And I show every single one that I have. And of course here is like the little storytelling ones that I got at like amazing price. And then of course at the end is my doujin. Let me fit it back. Which is, I all like all of these are purchased from Anime North. Just letting you know they do jack up the price but considering the rarity and how to get them, I mean why not. So all of my doujin. Now, let's move on to the glory, which is my two shelves that uh, I positioned them in a corner like that. They used to be side by side, but I fixed it to make it look like this, just because it saved more space and it's away from the window. Um, like all of my shelves, there's figures on the top, figures on the bottom. So let's start off with this. So as you can see, here is my English Chobits manga, Japanese manga here. And moving on to completed manga, um, which I like to keep together. Like any manga that's complete, I like to keep them in a row because then I know I don't have to make space. So it's perfect. And here's all my shoujo beat manga. Now everything is pretty much complete except for Vampire Night. And here's the special slot for the last volume. Uh, like I said, they came out with a limited edition one that came with an art book and also also the cover is different and they came out with just the usual vampire night manga so if you either want the rare edition you could do that or the regular you could do that as for me of course because you know i like to collect it all i'm getting both regular and limited edition these over here are already completed as well whoop yeah don't fair now here i have my claymore i have 1 to 24 of course i left space over here for more of the claymore and these two used to be up here but of course I had to take it down because I know that I'm gonna be filling up the slot so that's why these are currently down here it's kind of an eyesore but I have to do what I got to do so hopefully the claymore series doesn't you know take up this whole row but if it does I'll find a way next up we have all of these down here they're all pretty much completed, so I don't need to worry about space or anything. I really enjoyed this series. I'm so sad that they didn't get to finish it, but nonetheless, it was great to read. Now, moving on to my last shelf. I have all of the Sailor Moon uh, 1 to 12, including the love story. This is completed. I have Yotsuba 1 to 12. And if they do come up with more, which I think they will, I have a little space on the side there, so... Not really worrying about that. And here I have Genshikin, which is the first season. And of course, here's the second season, which is the newest one that is coming out. Um, this is the novel. This is the um, kind of the background story of the Kujibiki Unbalanced. Basically, it's like an anime featured inside the manga slash anime. So it's kind of like Twilight Zone. But yeah, this is uh, forever growing, so to make sure I have space... Uh, oh, by the way, this series is 
done so I don't have to worry about this one growing so if I ever get more Genshikin season 2 manga I'll just push this aside which I do have space for so that's perfect so I just honestly my thinking process for organizing this time was about space and knowing which manga series is currently growing and all of the potential new series that I'm gonna buy so moving on here so as you can see we have more of a uh, random manga so these manga some of them are completed some of them I stopped collecting for now so as you can see here and some of the usually I like to go in order but like there was um, a comic book store that had like 40% off and I just bought whatever they had so excuse the random numbers this one I think for sure is completed they're coming out with a uh, like I guess a part two or a second season manga next year this one I stopped collecting for now this one is complete this one I think it's com well I don't know if they stopped or if it's complete so but it's not bad that one uh, junk force is definitely complete and then lastly down here is basically like the series that are either really short or that I can't like it's just hard to find their volumes for example Rose and Maiden I only have five six seven I have to get the beginning ones the Sha um, what is it Shana is also another one that's hard to get pretty face I know I could continue but I'm just pausing that for now and I know strawberry panic is completed this one I think I need more but I'm just pausing it I'm just currently focusing on manga that I know I will enjoy and I'll read some of these I'm probably either gonna sell or give away I don't know yet I have to think about that first but that is how I organized everything pretty much making sure I have space I hope you guys enjoyed here's a big view again I hope you guys enjoyed my cleaning journey it's kind of hectic but thank you guys for joining me in this journey. Oh, it looks so clean. I'm so happy. You know, I get that like happy feeling when I clean my messy room. It just makes me feel satisfied. I know it's weird, right? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my pandas. If you want more of me, I have Twitter and Facebook in the description box below. Please add me, follow me. I would love that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, my pandas.